What's going on, Epic Gamers? It's your boy, Lil Widgeon. Uh, a few of you guys saw my Twitter post outlining my steering wheel in Roblox. Um, and a few of you guys were wondering how I did that, so this is how you do it. So basically, what you want Roblox to do is think that the steering wheel is actually an Xbox 360 controller. And to do that, we're going to be using X360CE. Um, this program only works on Windows. If you have a Mac, I'm sure that there's a similar program that can do it. So go ahead and download the 32-bit uh, game version of X360CE, and then you're going to type Windows key run, and then you're going to go into your app data folder. Um, it's going to show on screen here the actual path to the Roblox versions folder, and then you're going to drag the X360 uh, exe into the folder which includes the roblox beta player uh, for the next step make sure that roblox is closed and then you can open up x360 ce and if you have your uh, steering wheel drivers installed it should show up immediately otherwise you're going to have to go install or redo your drivers um, if it does show up it will show up in the game controllers or the gamepad section in windows if you get a X input error, you can just create those files. You can use the default bindings um, if you did the automatic search. Otherwise, you can remap those to whatever you want. Once you're happy with your mapping, you can go over to the game settings in X360 and then go to my game settings. And what you're going to want to enable is PID, VID, and all of the 32 check marks on the left hand side of the X input files and the D input files. Once those are checked, you can click apply and synchronize settings. Once again, just hit OK if those X input files are missing. And if you've done everything correctly, you should see uh, your character move left and right based on the uh, left stick X input for whatever you mapped it to. Sadly, what you're going to have to do every time that Roblox updates is redo this process. And also, you'll have to open X360 CE and close it every time you restart your computer. Once again, you should be able to use this in pretty much any game. Um, as long as it supports controllers, it should work. Uh, thank you all for watching. See ya.